Let's see, does he only have three legs? What's up everybody? Out here checking traps tonight and I didn't think I had anything, but when I got down here I was wrong. I did catch something, so check this out. Looks like we got a possum. So I'm gonna get him woke up, I guess. Get him out of there. This was actually the trap that I was gonna pull today. I was gonna move it over that high ledge there I caught all the others and the one chewed its foot off but maybe I'll reset this one and move one of the other two so let me get this guy out of here and then I'll see if there's something else and get this set up it's the next morning so I'm out here checking my traps this morning uh, I moved one last night after I got uh, that one possum taken care of uh, it was really cold, super windy. It's still windy today. It was like 30 mile an hour winds. So I moved uh, this trap right here. I moved it right here on this same trail that I've had them set up on. This is the exact same spot where the one chewed his leg off. So we got that uh, reset there. Hopefully something will come by tonight. So I'm hoping in the next few days that this will uh, maybe have some more coons coming down off that road up there. Uh, coming through and we'll pick up a few. I gotta go check my coyote traps. I'm gonna guess that there's probably nothing in any of those. Uh, it's pretty cold. It rained yesterday also. Uh, before it got down into freezing temperatures, so they're probably froze to the ground uh, So I'm gonna have to go contend with that. I might move one. I haven't fully decided whether I'm gonna do that yet or not uh, But regardless, I'm gonna go check them and see if I have anything All right Out here checking traps and I was checking my coyote traps and this is what I came up on. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the wind. It's ridiculous. But something set off my trap. Pulled it out of the hole. Got away. I'm going to guess, I don't know, that's a Duke number three. Surely that was a coyote. Or something bigger that got in there maybe a deer it is pulled just straight away from it so maybe a deer stepped in it pulled it away uh, maybe a coyote rolled over I don't know you guys can tell me what you think in the comments this is my first year using foothold so I really don't know a ton on that from what I can or what I know this is kind of common for like if deer step in a set they'll just pull straight out of it and your trap will just be sitting basically straight chained away from it which is kind of what we got here uh, the only thing that makes me think that maybe not is I was in a rush the day I put it out forgot pan covers so I use this lunch sack and there's like maybe what I think is like a tooth hole there and some scratches on it so maybe there was a foot in there uh, and they just slipped out of it but when I came out here I didn't bring any of my Remex stuff uh, it's back at the truck which is actually quite a ways away so I guess I'm gonna go get all my stuff to redo this and drive a little bit closer and then I'll have this remade and I'll sh probably show you that again once I get it done so maybe we can get something here next time all right back out here just got done remaking this set so there it is I've got it all kind of evenly distributed out there took some pheasant feathers threw down in there uh, in that hole I got bait down behind it I got some different scents right there trying to get them in here I figure if they don't come tonight they'll probably call come the next two nights after uh, it's supposed to be like negative one tomorrow morning 
uh, and that's without the wind chill. And the wind's still blowing pretty well. Uh, so I have this all rebated, reset. It was probably just a deer, just in my mind, uh, after I've got to think on a little more. It was pulled straight out that way, uh, and then nothing like that poke stem that's right there. Those things are pretty fragile. I think if a coyote had been caught, it would have made a bigger mess. Uh, maybe he rolled in it and just rolled up towards it, since this is kind of in a hillside here. Uh, but whatever it may have been, I have it reset now. So hopefully something comes by and visits it again. So I'll see you probably tomorrow checking traps again. All right, out here checking traps this morning, and I came to this first set right here, and my trap had been knocked over, so I just propped it back up. Bait's still in it. Kind of surprised uh, about that. But over here, we actually got something. He looks cranky. Big one. Let's see, does he only have three legs? Can't tell yet. Yep. Let me see if I can get him taken care of. And then we'll see. This is a different one or one that we've caught before. I already see another front paw. We've not caught him before. I'll take care of him all the same. Well, there's Big Daddy. If you've watched uh, my other videos, I may have said it in there. I've only caught one male coon this entire year out of the half dozen or so that I have caught right here around the house. And uh, this is the next one. He's much bigger than the last one that I got. So maybe this is the Big Daddy that's running around with all the other coons around here so got a bunch more checks uh, to make just made the first one this morning and had this guy so let's go see if we got anything else coming up on the first set here and sorry about the audio ahead of time but it looks a little different than I left it the other day if you look right in there it looks like something's went and skirted all around that edge there's some kind of weird blob or poop or something and it looks like something's messing around here but traps not gone off and I see a little bit of hellfire still on that stick so I'm gonna leave it alone I'm going to pull one that I'm gonna move to another portion of this property and maybe have a little better look there so I'm gonna get over and get that pulled At this set here, right here by this terrace and this trail that comes through here to that point where just about everything crosses this field. In the like two weeks or so that I've had this set out, it's not even had a sign of anything coming to it. So I feel like it could serve a better purpose somewhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and get it pulled out of here and then <clears throat> I guess uh, I'll show you whenever we're going to put it back in so all right here at the pine tree pond and today I was gonna pull up my set it's right here next to this path but when I got here I found this I didn't bring anything with me except just what I needed to pull it out. Now, to me, I feel like this is a raccoon. And I want anybody watching this to tell me what you guys think, so I'm going to give you a look also, because I haven't done anything. Maybe it is a coyote, maybe it's not. I just feel like this is a raccoon coming in and then just going up and getting my bait. As Right there's the hole, right there's the stick I had sent on, and then this is exactly how I found this. 
So, I don't know. Well, actually, that might be my culprit right there. There's a deer track. I don't know, you guys tell me, do deer dig out traps? I've never heard of it. I mean, I've heard of deer stepping in them and then, you know, pulling out traps. But I've never seen any dig any out. So, tell me what you think. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this. And then, maybe if you guys think otherwise, I may put the set back in later. I don't know. I really don't think this is coyotes, though. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And then I'm going to move it uh, back over with the trap that I pulled uh, earlier. So, I'll show you when I have those put out. All right. Had to make a quick trip back home. Forgot my drill. And I don't know if I've said this in one of my past videos. I may have, may not. If so, I'll just say it again. Uh, I know a lot of like trapping places use or have large dirt hole diggers, big augers. And that's awesome. But if you're on a budget like me and don't really want to spend a ton of money on that, uh, not that they're real expensive. I think they're like 10 bucks. Uh, one of these big old auger bits works really good this is just a half inch uh, and like it's no good because the tips broke off of it uh, sometime way back when but if you're like me have a grandfather who hoards things back like a pack rat in an old barn right, go check it out maybe you'll have one and then you can do a, get a digging machine uh, for real cheap so I'm gonna go ahead Put a hole in right there, get it baited up, and then I have one more I'm going to put out. Alright, there you have it. Baited it, feathered it, put out some lure right here on this old two-track. There's some paths coming there. There's another one here. And then right out there is a big field. And then running right here is a creek bed and then there's a field beyond it so hopefully there's something moving between that hill and that hill probably around this path and i have something caught there but let's go put out one more all right got this last set made let me kind of give you the rundown on it big hill right there there's a trail that comes down right here and conjoins this trail that goes out into an open field there's a road right over there right there and there's a low water bridge so this kind of makes a natural funnel low water bridge is a crossing point for a lot of different things and then they skirt right through this brushy stuff and there's another trail that comes off over here right there and kind of that one right there that conjoins in here and runs right by this set so baited it up and everything like I have everything else uh, took a lot of that grass that was there uh, where I dug my bed for my trap fluffed it up there behind those tall thistles and now we hope something comes by and likes it well everybody I went out and checked traps already today <clears throat> and I didn't have anything the winds really blowing and it's getting cold uh, it actually snowed a little bit this morning but nothing that would actually stick on the ground so I'm gonna leave it here on this one and how many of you noticed that there's a pheasant above me? Right there. Look at him. I didn't notice him for a long time when I walked in here. But me and the pheasants, we'll catch you in another one. Bye-bye.